know, that's all great to do in qualifying, but you want to do it in the race of anything, so we got to keep on our toes yeah. now. Do you feel like you're happy with as much practice or as little? Yeah. Well, it's funny because you get all this time and you're just waiting around and you're just running laps. Talking about it. Yeah, and then you get to Sunday, you know, after qualifying, and if you lose a handle on the race car, then you're like, oh no, you know, what? you get kind of lost and yeah. you feel like you just wasted all that practice time you had a week ago and you wish you had it before the race then, so. Especially this weekend because the tracks changed a lot and it's it was particularly tough on Sunday to drive in the track. And I think that threw a lot of people for a loop, so. Our day is going to be important. Yeah, no kidding. It's only an hour. They're saying there could be rain tonight too, which could add a whole different dynamic, right? Yeah, I doubt absolutely. It, yeah, I, I doubt it'll roll, wash this rubber away because yeah. it's so it's packed so in dark. there. It's dark. I've never seen it like that. I don't, when's the last time this has happened? I was talking to my no engineers rain. about it. It's never happened. Not since I've been coming here. Yeah, in the 80s, they had some. This, this is really? rare, right? Yeah, it's very, yeah. very rare. Very hot, just sunny. So when you're on the track, the groove, so much rubber, it's, but if you get out of it a little bit, that's going to be problematic. I think so, and it's it's it reacts a lot different now in the groove because it the groove plays a bigger factor because it's so grippy yeah. or or greasy, you know, depending on what time of day it is. You know, it's yeah. going to get really greasy on Sunday and probably slick. Um, but the, the funny thing about it is you're driving on the track and you can visibly see the black, you know, pavement now. You can see where the line <laughs> yeah. of the groove has been set in much more than I've ever seen around here. I've only been here two years now, but you know, yeah. even so, it's pretty it's pretty late in there. It's going to be hard hard to drive on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for your no time. Got you done. Now we don't have to worry about it. Here we go. Thanks. You're prepared. <laughs> I was. I tried to be. Yeah, see you now. A couple of people have said that. I don't know if I like that, but yeah. I just, you know, I'm here to... Does it affect you at all? Not really. I mean, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm just here because I love racing and I want to win races and win championships and, you know, whatever happens outside of that is secondary, really. What was the best piece of advice you had in the last two weeks? Um, so just, you know, keep a cool head. Don't get too excited. I've heard people tell me don't get too excited for... Uh, a whole week now, yeah. and that, that's that's true. You can't get too excited for the race. You got to keep it easy. And you got to be there at the finish to, to win the thing. So, yeah. turn one, you try to be less, a uh, bit more conservative compared to maybe uh, Long Beach, or doesn't that really not play in your mind anymore? Well, that was a different situation. You know, it's on a road course, and there, you know, that's. I had made a I had made a decision there, judging by the drivers that were around me, and I thought, you know, a certain type of move might as well was 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 workable there and usable and it obviously didn't work out in that situation you know and and I learned a lesson from that but you know I don't I didn't see that as oh that was too aggressive of a move for too early in the race you know it was a road course very different from Indianapolis Indianapolis is you take a completely different approach from any other race so it's well behind you yeah they're two different situations yeah, for sure enough. so what's it like giving advice to a rookie twice your age <laughs> Well, at the end of the day, we're all drivers. You know, we're all learning at, at every point in our career. So, you know, there's there's things that I'll know from my Andy Lights days that they've they've never experienced before. So, if anything, you know, I got a little a little more experience than they do on the ovals. So, and, and again, we're all drivers. We're always learning, and with that, with whatever it is, at, at every stage of our career. So, it can happen either either end of the age spectrum. Just,